been asked to update the video for uh, section seven on interpreting change, absolute and relative change, uh, specifically for this fair market rental page where we just practice calculating and interpreting absolute and relative change. So on this page, we are looking at fair market rental. This is based on some HUD data for two bedroom properties. And as you can see, we have a variety of cities and towns for Indiana listed here for the year 2000 and for 2015. So on the first page, it's page 74 in my current textbook, we are going to take a look at comparing those cities to themselves over that time period. All right, so starting with Fort Wayne, Fort Wayne's top of our list here, and they want us to work in this table starting with absolute change. All right, so absolute change is just a difference of values, but the order matters because we're subtracting. So I want to take my newer value minus my older value. So it was 687 in 2015. It used to be $508 back in the year 2000. So I get that that's a difference of 179. The relative change is going to be the ratio of that change, that new minus old, over a denominator of the older value. Okay, so I could write out 687 minus 508 all over 508, but I don't think I have room in this little tiny box. So certainly I know what the absolute change was. It was 179. Let's see if I divide that by 508. As we often do, we're going to make our ratios into a decimal. And we didn't specify where to round on this page. I like to round to three places. And I like to take that value and turn it into a percentage, right? Because we have dollars over dollars, the units of dollars cancels out, and relative change is percent change. Okay, so if I scroll down a little bit, let's go ahead and look at the meaning of the value that we just calculated because they've actually given it to us in the book here. So they tell us that that 179, that absolute change is measured in dollars. And the fact that it's positive means there was an increase. There was an increase in what? Rental rates, where, Fort Wayne, when, 2000 to 2015. So the math in this section is not terribly hard, but we're definitely going to ask you guys to write sentences. So, so those are some things I would look for in my student sentences. What's the number? What's the unit? Did it increase or decrease? What are we talking about? And be specific. And if there's a time frame, go ahead and throw the time frame in there as well. Okay, as we said, relative change is percent change. So we could also have said the rental rates increased by 35%. We can make this very sophisticated, college level sounding type statement. Okay, so let me clean this up a little bit and we'll try another one. All right, so let's look at Gary. Okay, so Gary is 805 for the 2015 value and minus 638 for the year 2000 value. All right, so subtracting those, I'm going to call that 167. Okay, and then 167 over 638, so it's always over the older value. So whatever your second value is in the subtraction, that should match, you can read my handwriting, that should match the denominator in our ratio when we calculate the relative change. And we're going to turn that into a decimal, and then we're going to go ahead and turn that into a percentage. So that's about 26% or 26.2%, wherever you want to round it. And I notice here, that's also an increase. No big surprise, right? Rent is probably going to go up over that 15-year period. Okay, so again, let me clean that up a little bit. I'll just copy my typed answers in here. Okay, so I think this would be a great place for you guys to pause the video. Go ahead and calculate Indianapolis and Bloomington. So what are the change for Indianapolis? What's the change for Bloomington? Okay, 
So Indianapolis, I get a $240 absolute change and a 43.5% relative change. For Bloomington, I get a $184 change. That's a 28.8% relative change. But what, what does that mean? So let's see. They want a sentence for Indianapolis. Uh, so for the absolute change, we could say there was a $240 increase in rental rates from 2000 to 2015 for Indianapolis. And you can paraphrase that a little bit. But again, uh, some key things I would be looking for as an instructor, what's the number? What's the unit associated with it? Did it increase or decrease? What are we talking about? What's the topic of the sentence? And if there's a time frame to also give the time frame. So those are some key things. Okay, similarly, for the uh, relative change. So this time I thought I would start with the date from 2000 to 2015. The fair market rental rates in Indy increased 43.5%. Uh, uh, another great thing uh, for these relative change is we could use this relative change to compare the different cities, right? They all have different rental numbers, but if I look at the, the relative change and I said, well, what city increased the most, I can see that Indy has the highest relative change. Now, they just also happen to have the highest absolute change in this example, but this could be a great way to, to rank things from high to low. Um, I always give the example in my class about the show The Biggest Loser. You know, who lost the most weight? Well, they look at a relative change to figure that out. All right, so that's comparing over time, but actually let's look at comparing place to place. So that's what we're asked to do on this next page. All right, so let me pause for a moment. Um, well, let me tell you what I'm going to do. For this page, read the instructions. They want us to look at the 2015 rates. So here they want us to just use the, the right-hand column and then compare these cities to each other. Okay, so let me pause. I'm gonna move that table to where we can see it. Okay, so I just copied the table over and we're just looking at the 2015, so I've kind of blacked out the year 2000. Okay, so on this page, since we're comparing community to community, I don't have a new and an old, so that's not really going to work anymore. So I want to take my value minus my reference value over my reference value. But who should the reference be? Well, here we've specified, and we put it on the left-hand side here, which may be a little bit confusing, uh, because like for this first one, this is comparing Indianapolis to Terre Haute. So the one that's done for you, uh, this would be Indy, two Terre Haute, so yeah, maybe we should have had the table in the other order. That's okay, though. So Terre Haute's our reference in my arrow. I'm thinking about pointing at Terre Haute. How does Indy compare to Terre Haute? So that one's worked out for us already in the book. Now, if I switch the order, that's going to change my answers, right? So on the one that's not worked out for us, let's compare Terre Haute to Indy. So for the absolute change, it's not that big a deal. We just flip the order around. So it's 678 minus 792 just makes our answer negative 114. That's not that different. For the relative change, the, the change is a little more significant here. For one, it's going to be negative. But what else is going to change? The denominator changes. Now, since the denominator changes, once again, that's going to change this number completely. It's not the same as the first one. Now it's negative 0.144 or negative 14.4%. So the order of your calculation really matters, and it's really going to matter how we express this in a sentence. Let me put it up here all pretty and typed up for you. A little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and look at the sentences. 
So again, the one that's typed up for us in the book is comparing Indy to Terre Haute. So Indy was $114 higher than Terre Haute. So the writer of the sentence, wherever they use the word than, that then points to a reference and lets the reader know we were measuring Indy against Terre Haute. And Indy was 16.8%. It was a positive 16.8%. So it's a more than, a higher than Terre Haute. Okay, what about the one we just calculated? Let's see. How would we interpret these? Well, one thing is the absolute change is a negative now. So now I want to use Indianapolis as my reference. So we could say the rental rate in Terre Haute would come, Terre Haute would come first is $114 less than, lower than Indianapolis, right? Or if we want to use the relative change, we could say the FMR, the fair market rental rate in Terre Haute is 14.4% less than Indianapolis. Now maybe I should be more specific for 2015 if you want to throw that in there um, as well. So again, good things in our sentences, things your instructor is going to look for. What are you talking about? What's the topic? And these you need to know who is more than whom. The word than tells us who our reference is. You definitely want to include the number. That was kind of the point of doing these, right? Are we less than? Are we more than? And then if you want to throw in the time frame here as well, it's never a bad idea to be as specific as possible. All right, again, if you want to pause the video for a moment, go ahead and try Bloomington versus South Bend and Evansville compared to Kokomo. And just because they told us to, we are going to use Bloomington as the reference and Evansville as the reference. But if we didn't have instructions, you could choose who you want the reference to be. Then you would just have to be really specific in your sentence about who is more than whom because it would make a difference in your answer. All right, so pause, come back. I'm just going to pop the answers up here to save time. All right, South Bend and Bloomington. South Bend is $60 less than Bloomington. That's about 7.3% less. Uh, Evansville and Kokomo also negative because uh, Kokomo is about $17 less than Evansville. They were pretty close. So that's about 2.4% less. Okay, so to re reiterate my sentences here. The fair market rental rate in South Bend is $60 lower than, less than, um, which is 7.3% less than Bloomington. So that was using Bloomington as the reference. For Evansville and Kokomo, or I should say Kokomo compared to Evansville, right? So if the question said compare Kokomo to Evansville, that would also tell us Let's make sure. Is this what we calculated? Evansville is our reference. Yes. Um, notice we can still kind of use our, our order of ratios that we had earlier in the semester. Kokomo coming first, Evansville coming second for that one. So we could say Kokomo is 2.4% less than Evansville. And again, you might want to say for 2015. Okay, I'm going to show you guys one more thing. I don't want to confuse people. But I want to show an alternative way to set up the relative change. You don't have to do it this way. I'll just point out that it works. So, so rather than taking, um, I guess, value minus reference over reference, I could slightly rearrange this formula as value over reference minus one. So let's just try it for Evansville and Kokomo and I'll I'll show that it works here. So compare Kokomo to Evansville. Well, if I just wanted the ratio of Kokomo to Evansville, I would have put 704 over 721. But we want a, a relative change, a percent increase or decrease. So to figure out if it's an increase or decrease, I subtract 1 from that ratio. And go ahead and try it in your calculator. You should find 
that you get the same answer, negative 0 0.024. So sometimes I like to set mine up that way because it's going to come in handy sometimes to think of it that way as we get into our story problems in the next couple of pages. All right, so I hope this helps.